Hello, uh, in this episode I'm going to be reviewing a cassette deck. This is a realistic SCP-31 stereo cassette deck. I purchased this brand new back in 1991 and I've had it ever since. It still works like a top. Uh, I believe back then I paid about maybe 70 or 80 Canadian dollars for it and uh, again it's being it's been a real workhorse for me over the years the sound quality is surprisingly good uh, just to give you a few stats on this it has one head it's two channel stereo play only no recording uh, the signal to noise ratio is 50 decibels which I understand is rather decent the wow and flutter is 0.15 percent which I also understand is quite acceptable it's very small uh, and very compact and I'll get more into that later. Uh, I think this was designed for people who lived in very sort of cramped quarters and it's very lightweight. It only weighs 0.9 kilograms, so less than one kilogram. Overall a very surprisingly good uh, hard-working cassette deck. So again, because this cassette player is so small and so compact, I think that was probably its most winning feature. Uh, I could see this being used by anyone who had very cramped conditions, maybe someone living in a dorm room on a college campus, or someone like myself who lived in a mobile home and who had a very tiny home studio. Uh, it doesn't take up a lot of room. I've heard of various churches and other community groups using these over the years and they always had a lot of success with it. It just has a reputation for being a very simple yet very reliable cassette deck. Just to show you on the front here we have play, uh, rewind, fast forward, stop, eject and pause and we can see all the functions still work. Uh, so again, I bought this one in 1991, so you're talking about an item that's almost 30 years old and uh, to this day I still use it. It works very, very well. So just a shot of the inside of the cassette player. Again, we can see the head, we can see the capstan and the pinch roller. Uh, again, a very simple, simple cassette player. And on the front here, you can see there is a tape select button. You can see that you can switch between normal or chromium slash metal. And here's a view of the back. Again, very simple. We basically have two RCA outs, a left and a right. We can see the specifications, uh, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 8 watts. And you can see it says made in China, distributed in Canada by Intertan Canada. Uh, again, I live in Canada, so this one was intended for the Canadian market. As I mentioned earlier, uh, I've always found the realistic SCP-31 to be a real workhorse. No word of a lie, this thing is a tank. Years ago, uh, I used to perform as a live musician, a solo live musician. Uh, I didn't have a band working with me, and my technology at the time was quite limited so I couldn't really do a lot of sequencing so I used a lot of backing tapes when I would perform live and believe it or not I used to have my music on backing cassettes that I would play on this very unit I never had any trouble with it always worked perfectly uh, this thing used to get stored in, uh, in, in storage bags in uh, gear bags it got pushed around and tossed around a lot it, perfectly with, withstood all of the uh, rigors and all the stresses of uh, performing on the road. And to this day it still works great. I still pop in a cassette every so often. I will also mention, as you can see, it says automatic stop. This tape deck only works in one direction and one direction only. I also own an SCP-32, which was basically the big brother of this model. Uh, the SCP-32 is very similar to this one and I do hope to review it in another video. The biggest difference is that uh, it has reverse, the tape is auto-reverse, 
which can be very handy if you want to pop in a cassette and just let it play over and over. So the SCP-32 is auto reverse, but this one is just one direction only. So again, this is a great little cassette deck uh, if you're looking for something really simple, really straightforward. Uh, if you don't have a lot of space in your room or in your little home studio, definitely give this a try. In general, I tend to be a big fan of realistic products. I have a number of realistic products that I've owned for many years. Most of them are at least 30 years old and pretty much all of them still work perfectly. So I am a fan. Again, I bought this one brand new. Uh, almost 30 years ago. I believe this deck was first introduced by Radio Shack in 1989, uh, but I bought mine in 1991, and again, I think I paid somewhere around 60 or $70 for it. The SCP-32, which I mentioned a minute ago, I actually found at a Salvation Army used for $3. So, I hope you have the same luck as I did, and I hope you can find one of these uh, at a good price. So again, that's the realistic SCP-31, a very simple, very compact cassette deck. If you find one secondhand, definitely pick it up. They are a very reliable, excellent little cassette deck. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.